Okay, folks, we're going to get our afternoon session started. Um, our first presentation in the afternoon is from uh, Tommy Chen, yes. Wewin. He's going to talk about a, a high density NVMe JBoff storage and when you form. Okay. okay. Hi, friend. Nice to meet you. And this is uh, Tommy Chen from Wewin Storage Team. So today I would like to share to you about a new storage product. It's a NVMe that, uh, in one U chassis. So be before I uh, introduce about the, the new generation, so I want to say thank you for all Facebook storage team. Because uh, things uh, six years ago, uh, we engaged with the Facebook team for first generation OpenVol. And during the product is the SaaS 6G product. And then we have a honey badger and uh, Mater and, and also Lightning and Bryce Canyon. So this is a very su successful story for we, we win and the Facebook together. So today I just based on, I think the, the, the transition of the data center uh, workload is, a, is a changing. So the fresh based storage is really uh, important for, for data center application. So I just a uh, over, quick overview about the Lightning product for you. It's a, the Lightning product is a 2U30 bay, is a U.2 phone filter. There are two drawers inside the chassis. Each tray, each tray has the uh, 15 U.2, and uh, we could change the uh, you, you touch two, uh, we can change the SSD carrier to be the two M.2, so we can uh, install to be 60 M.2 SKU. So we can choose the flexible various uh, SSD form filter for 77 millimeter width thickness or 15 thickness. And uh, once, uh, so this is a modular design for easy maintenance, so we can trail out the whole, whole tray and service directly. And Ultra, is a, the performance is quite very good. It's a good IOPS and a low latency. So when we see the lightning, what we, we heard about that. Yes, we heard about standard. So we uh, recognize the demand from OCP, from OCP, not from OCP, but also we from traditional uh, cloud service provider is a 19-inch demand. So we just utilize the successful project from Lightning. We leverage the design and also test the validation to consolidate together for 19-inch standard. We call that the ST300. So today, I would like to share to you about the standard. The key feature here is uh, this is a 1U. 24 bay. It's a Utah 2 phone filter with two, uh, two, two six, by 16 Gen 3 upper link to different server. Okay, and uh, this is uh, we have a two power supply inside, and also we have a five fan module. It's a four plus one. And the drawer, you can see that here, is the drawer design. So we can trail out the upper U, so you can trail out, and then we can service the, the drive directly. And uh, based on that application, we support the Intel SD. So the flexible SSD resource assign reassignment can be supported in this product. And excellent system performance. Later on, so I will share to you about the standard the architecture, and also the manageability. I will share to you about how to manage the system from software standpoint, and also from cable routing standpoint. And then I will share to you about the performance data based on the, the real testing data. So this is the system architecture of standard. So in front, we have two IOM module. This is a by system, by system, the four by four MISAS HD connector um, in front. 
And also, we have the other IOM module in real time. So that can allow us to, to uh, change the cable routing in front or, or front or in real time. We can choose either one, depending on the cloud service provider needed. And this chassis, we can trail out. When the trail out, you can see there is the dry preamble in the in here. So the, the chip state in, in, in upper side is uh, U.2 SSD. And we put the PCIe switch chip on button. That is the upside down design. And OK, let's the power supply here. We have a 1 plus 1 power supply. And the 40, 50, 6 fan module, we have a five piece is a four plus one. And this area, you can see, sorry. You can see here, this is a fan control bowl. In this bowl, if it can sit uh, five fan module and two power supply, the cable here is the deliver the 12 volt power from FCB to dry plane bowl. So you can see this arm, this cable arm, is internal cable arm. We can, we can load, we can tie all the cable together, including the power delivery from FCB and also from the PCIe cable internal routing to this area. So we, this is a cable arm design. So later I will share to you about the system blood diagram. In this blood diagram, uh, we have two IOM module. The IOM module there is the RZ45, and also we have the PCI by system internal cable from the from IO uh, IOM module to the Japan bowl. So the the cable here we we are using about the uh, OQ-Link cable for internal cable routing, and uh, this is a main pass here, so this is a dry plane bowl. We have a two micro semi PCI switch here, and also we have a BNC for the whole en enclosure management. So the internally we use the P uh, I2C switch to manage the hard drive status, uh, uh, SSD status and the temperature information for, for BNC. Also, we reserve the internal link between two PCI switch. We reserve by A, by A between two. So this is a system blood diagram. So we based on that diagram to have the different kind of application. The first one is we, we connect the server through the external cable, PCI cable. We have two cable routing. So the total bandwidth here is by, by 32. And this is for performance reason, we want to have the better IOPS and throughput. So the other application here, so we, we have a two independent <coughs> server to connect to, to the one side of the IOM module, the other one to the other, other IOM module. So during a case, we utilize the internal by a channel so we can as a server host one can access the SSD through this switch to the down switch and from the host two we can access to the to the, the other side. So the total <clears throat> total disk can be arrangement or do some uh, resource assignment by the BNC. So this is a, we were based on that for for resource arrangement. Okay. For the management BNT side, we, from this is the server side, we have the CPU. Sorry. This is CPU side, we use the we use the we use the same cable from Lightning. So the cable we have the USB and I C uh, seven signal inside. So host can access the the can can access the switch status, the, the PCI switch status through the USB interface or I2C interface. 
And uh, Nick, we have the other RC45 for enclosure management as well. So outside, we can go through the RC45 channel to access the BNC. So this is the enclosure management. Also, we also support the uh, firmware update from host or from remote side. So it's through the interface. BNC can access the switches through the uh, UR interface. Uh, the, the product here is a, is a very flexible for traditional 19-inch data center customer requirement. So we have the front view. We have, a, we have two PCIe by system in front, and uh, these two is a two PCIe by system in real. We can, based on the cable routing requirement, we can, we can lout the different kind of paths. Okay, so this is from front view and the, the real, real side, the cable routing. So that means we want to have the front access. We can utilize the 19-inch uh, OCP server, it's a front access. We, we can uh, install the existing PCI retirement card inside the server and use the traditional cable to, to the standard directory. Our we can use the traditional generic server from real side is put on the retirement card as well. We can through the PCI cable to connect to standard directory. So this is a, allow us to uh, application this machine system to different kind of uh, data center requirement. And later on, I will share to you about the, 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 the real testing about our performance data. We will comp I will compare about the, the Z-Bar SAS hard disk and the uh, Z-Buff. We, we have the other SATA SSD and they compare the NVMe PCI SSD, the performance data. So later I will share to you about the, the throughput and the IOPS and the IOPS per watt. So that means the price CP value is the price per watt, right? Okay. So this is the testing, real testing data. So the the blue color here is hard disk. So we compare the, the second one is a SATA SSD. So this one is a NVMe Z buff. So the, from the throughput standpoint, it's better. Uh, NVMe the result is, is five times better than hard drive testing result. And the IOPS, we, we based on the 100%, 100 uh, 4K random, random read and random write, we do the testing. So the data we, we measure that is uh, 854 times compared to traditional hard disk. Mm. So we based on the IOPS data to, to, see, to check the system wattage performance. We can see the standard here is about five times compared to SATA SSD. So the performance ratio is pretty good. The total system power is about 450 watts. Okay, so just just show you a quickly summary. So uh, we we use the same uh, we, we in order to service more CSP cloud service provider in in other data center demand, we hear that, and we with the same uh, lightning uh, DNA. So we we leverage the, the design and the validation flow to do the, the system design for standard. And then the flexible PCI cable support for core IR or, or hard IR flexible cable routing demand. And the two wireless drawer for easy SSD maintenance. And we support the uh, power supply and the cooling design redundancy as well. For flex flexible SSD resource arrangement, we can use just like uh, Intel SD. So this demand can allow 
uh, server can uh, dynamically allocation about the SSD requirement. So excellent system performance. So we, we can recognize the, the throughput is around 20, 26 gigabyte per second, and the IOPS is around 4.6 million IOPS. And the, the, the price performance ratio is pretty good. Okay. So this is my presentation today. So do you have any question want to discuss? Sorry? Oh, then no. no. <laughs> Are you planning on supporting dual ported drives in, at some point? No. Yeah, because the dual port uh, SSD drive is supposed dual host. The dual, dual two PCI switch. So right now we can study the, the, the PCI switch on the same board. It's for data center requirement. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So uh, of these designs, are there any new specifications that you're planning on submitting to OCP? Yeah, so we, we are planning right now. So the machine right now is uh, just in EVT phase. So we after we our internal review, then we will contribute about the specification later. Yeah. So right now, I think the machine is uh, ready right now. So it's in EVT phase. So we plan to uh, have the, the sample available in June time frame and plan to have the um, production very soon. Yeah. Please. What cable lengths do you support for the NVMe? OK. For, uh, you mean the external or? Yeah. So okay. uh, let me repeat a question just for what's the cable length that cabling. you plan to support for yeah. the NVMe connection? Yeah, yeah. So, so the cabling, the, we, we have two cabling. So cable, one cabling is the internal cabling. So we, we, you, we are using right now is the OQ-Link cable. But for a system, for, for a NVMe to server side, we are using MISAS HD cable right now. And we are planning to have the other version is using uh, OQ-Link. So we are, we are surveying the other opportunities. So right now, it's just use the same uh, uh, retimer card from Lightning. So we use the uh, MISAS HD cable. So far. What cable length do you support in the mini SAS HD? Yes. No, no, he asked what cable length do you support in the mini SAS? How long? How long? How long? Okay, it's a right now it's a 1, 1. 1.5 inch. Uh, so, me meter. <laughs> meter, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. So you mentioned the, the throughput. Yeah, because the the, the na native of the na native SSD behavior, the SATA SSD, the, the, the IO the throughput is around 500 five meg megabyte per second. Yeah, this is because this uh, the disk behavior. So this uh, latency things put together. So. So this is five, five times compared to two times because the, about there's uh, some protocol translating and the, all the behavior from na native di disk behavior. Okay. Do you have any other question, please? So what's the, uh, so Same capacity. capacity. Yes. So we use the one one point two terabyte for testing. Yeah, one two point two terabyte. So we can see the chart here. The the data uh, we we can see that uh, the 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 the, the real uh, bandwidth here is the PCI by system is around the 16 gigabyte per second. 
and our real testing is, is reached to 13 gigabyte per second. It's very close. Yeah. So, but the IOPS, I think we 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 did some testing before. So, uh, for read is uh, is good, but for write, if what we test almost is around 15 minutes, so the, the performance is better. Write performance is better than read performance. But after we test more than one hour or two hour, so <laughs> the write performance will, will become drop. So this is because the the, the native of SSD behavior so far. But the, the, the performance data here is depending on the capacity uh, uh, situation. So we have la larger uh, capacity, so the performance will be become better. Okay, any question? Please. Oh, for for the test, then no, but I think is the the system latency we measure in Lightning, and this is very similar. I think the PCI MU is native switch, so the total the latency around the uh, uh, my microsecond level compared to disk is a millisecond level, so it's a huge difference. Please. So you mean this? Or was it the entire so this is uh, only twelve drive. We we oh, measure uh, the twelve, yeah, you know, one one switch. So for a two switch, we 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 multiple two. It's only the two, okay. yeah. Any question? So I think it's just a remind to you. This is a very good good uh, example for for we win as well. So we utilize the uh, very successful Lightning product, and we, we hear everybody's demand. So we, 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 we design and we form factor based on the proof design concept to, to new product. So we will do more project based on this, this uh, scenario again. So this is a very good start from here. Okay, thank you for, for your joining today. Thank you.